So we're making scalloped potatoes. Uh, I have a buttered baking dish. I just rubbed it with garlic, a peeled garlic clove, one and a quarter cups of whole milk, and one and a quarter cups of cream. So it's slightly lighter, let's say, than maybe your standard. Now, who stacked all these so neatly? Look at this. Thomas did. Gosh. Half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just mixing them all together here in this liquid measuring cup. And then we can just shingle them in. You can do it okay. neatly, which is probably the way that you'll want to, or you can just throw them in. I will definitely want to shingle them in. You shingle those while I start trimming these green If you've beans. ever shingled a building, which I have, have you? Uh, no. You've never roofed a roof? <laughs> Not yet. Oh. I, next time you're roofing something, give me That's a call. Very Come fun. over and help. Those get shingled in there. Then you're going to pour this cream over it. Okay. Uh, it's mixed with the salt, the pepper, the milk, all of that. So you can do that and then dot the top. Now, of when butter. would you do this on Thanksgiving? Well, you can do this the day before or very early in the morning and keep it in the refrigerator it, up to six Cooked? hours. So maybe not the day before. Cooked? Well, you can, but I would do it raw and then it bakes at 350 for an hour. You can't leave this overnight raw. No, okay. No. Six hours. Really? Yes, do it in the morning because the milk will cover up all the potatoes okay. and then they, so they won't, won't discolor. Okay. Yeah. They won't and turn to Exactly, because this starch. takes a little bit of time, but it bakes for an hour at 350 and then uncovered for a half an hour, so it's an hour and a half total, and then it can rest. What we're trying to do is save you all time. Yeah, it's saving really... time. Okay. Um, so that can be made ahead, and then you can reheat it too if you wanted to make it the day okay. before. So these are yellow, um, the, the gold, Yukon, Yukon gold, gold potatoes. Yukon gold potatoes. Over here we're making another dish for our balance, which is a green bean dish with caramelized onions. It's kind of, you know, a take on the old green bean casserole. So how many is that going to serve? That looks like a lot of string beans. This is beans. a lot. It's two pounds of green beans, so yeah. it's enough for eight to ten people. I'm cooking those for ten minutes on high just till they wilt down. And then 30 minutes on medium so that they get nice and caramelized. Green beans, I have our blanching so here So you don't already. French them? No, but you can, I suppose. But you just boil them for about six minutes My until they're tender. My job was to French the string beans by hand. Yeah. Well, that takes a long Think of all the other time. things that you could be doing instead of Frenching green beans. Oh, I was, watch I was watching, you know, Miracle on 34th Street or whatever they play on Thanksgiving morning. And, uh, well, it is something that you can do while you're doing other stuff, but we're just going to skip it and uh, blanch our green beans whole. But so if you wanted them French, you certainly pour could. Pour this over, dot with butter, right? Yep, dot with butter. Then I have my blanched green beans, two pounds, drizzle with oil, four teaspoons of tarragon, salt and pepper, and then they just get topped with... Those mm. delicious caramelized onions, which we have over here. Oh, so those cook for so, about 30 minutes on medium. So beautiful. So top and this. Here, I'm going to put it on the platter. Oh. And then we can do it beautifully. Oh, I see. And then you can arrange them yes, beautifully that is on a, top. Okay, so here, you arrange it the way you okay. like to. That looks very good.